Hi musicians, how are you doing? My name is Federico from Kidemico Media and today in this video I'm going to show you a couple of tips that you can use to refine your artist image online as well as increase your follower base on social media. The first thing you do want to do is to have your website ready. When I mean your website ready is to have your music, your images, your videos, your biography, everything in one place. Why? Because agents or venues are going to go there and they want to get organized content in just one place that they can use and they can download. I know that building a website is not that easy, but today I suggest you can go to Wix, um, get some free templates for artists, and if you are not really sure on what to use inside that website, I suggest you go and check the artist Kevin Kennedy III or Teddy Strings, they have fantastic websites with all the content that it's needed for a venue or an agent or a label that you can actually check you know, and refine according to your needs. Considering social media, what you can use is something like Hootsuite, which is a social media scheduler. So you can program all the posts for the week in just one day. This is a free of use platform, up to three accounts. Um, so basically you can program everything from the interface of Hootsuite for all the week so your fans can get um, fresh content every day and you show some consistency about the content that you're putting on your different platforms. I suggest you start with Facebook and Instagram because you know it's where most of the people are and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips of each one of those platforms. For Instagram, each one of your posts can actually use the maximum of 30 hashtags. Now, the hashtags that you do wanna use are those who are appropriate to your music and appropriate to your audience. Now, try to find the hashtags that are not overpopulated. Let's say those who have like less than half million posts. So once you post on those, using those hashtags, you're not gonna get your content drawn up into millions of other posts. On the other thing, the algorithm for Instagram 2018 states that the best ranks get when you have high amount of comments and likes in the first 10 minutes of your post. What you can do to achieve this is to tell your audience to turn your notifications on, I mean, your post notifications on, on their mobile phones. And to do this, you can run some mini contests such as if you comment or like my post in the first 10 minutes, then I can offer you a free song or I can offer you a private message. So you engage with them and you make sure that people are actually active in those first 10 minutes when your post is being released. For Facebook, there are different techniques, but one of those techniques that not many people uses is get into the groups that are related to your music. Let's say if you are for example, uh, playing in Amsterdam, try to get into the groups that are related to music in Amsterdam. So once you get accepted, you can actually reshare your content from your page or from the Kiramiko page, right into the group and start interacting with new audiences on that city and on that group. So the best thing of it is that you can create conversations with new audiences and then bring them back as friends or bring them back into your page. As well, don't forget to actually each week to invite your new friends to follow your musicians page. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave more and more content right on the links below of the video. Please follow us on social media, especially after seeing this video. So you can actually get more fresh content from our side. So we help you grow your artist career and you can enlarge your follower base on social media and the internet and the world. So thank you very much, Federico from uh, Kiramiko Media and looking forward to see you soon. Bye bye.